protesters continuing to target Trump events. Over the weekend, they blocked a main highway leading to a Trump rally. Welcome, Sheriff Joe Arpaio, who is with us this morning. Sheriff, um, I, I, a lot of people have asked me this question. What happened to those people who blocked the highway with their cars? I know you arrested them. What happened to them? Are they still in prison or what? Well, they probably were uh, released on bond. What else is new? Uh, by the way, I live in that town. Uh, I do the law enforcement in that town. I was there to uh, also introduce... Uh, Donald Trump, like I've done several times before, and if, you, if they think they're going to disrupt uh, that uh, rally, I got news for them. They tried, and they're in jail where they belong. But, Sheriff, that was outrageous. Our viewers are now seeing video of the miles-long traffic holdup because of those protesters. Uh, I think a lot of people are very, very angry about this because they... Uh, they stopped people going to see their guy. They stopped free speech. They hindered up the progress of thousands of people. A lot of people are very angry about this. I think the protesters raised the hostility level as opposed to the Trump people themselves. Well, I don't see the media angry about it. I don't see the activists right. uh, m uh, angry about it. Uh, they just get uh, angry at, uh, at Trump. He's just trying to uh, exercise his... Uh, First Amendment, trying to get the message out. We had thousands and thousands and thousands of people waiting, waiting to uh, see him. And you got some people that want to disrupt uh, that, that forum. And I'll tell you, they're in jail. And uh, we have to do something about what's happening to uh, Trump. Everybody's after him. Right. And that's sad. That's um, very sad. There is the Arizona Republican primary tomorrow. Immigration looks like being the big issue. At this point, I'm told that Donald Trump leads in the polls. Is he going to win big? I hope so. Uh, you know, he had his first rally here in July. Thousands of people showed up. Nobody gave him a chance. Uh, but now he's got a great chance to be uh, the next president of the United States. Did he come to you or did you go to him for an endorsement and an, an, a, a relationship? You know, I've endorsed uh, many uh, candidates running for president and campaign for a couple of them. Uh, he, uh, I met him, uh, as I say, the first time in July. I like what I saw. Uh, I've also uh, introduced him in other places. And I, uh, we had a mutual uh, decision that I would endorse him. He was happy with that. And uh, in Marshalltown, Iowa, six weeks ago, I officially endorsed him, but I've been supporting him from day one. Okay. Sheriff Joe Arpaio, thank you very much for joining us, sir. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir.